Hello, uh, my name is Dr. Sophie Balzora. I am a gastroenterologist at NYU Langone Health, and I'm also a clinical associate professor at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine. I want to thank GIE for providing us the opportunity to speak about a perspective piece that we uh, recently wrote and was published um, that is entitled The Impact of COVID-19 on Colorectal Cancer Disparities and the Way Forward. So what do we know? We know that colorectal cancer is the second most common cancer killer in the United States among men and women. We also know that all things are not created equal when it comes to colorectal cancer screening, colorectal cancer incidence, and colorectal cancer mortality. Specifically, when we look at Hispanic patients, we see lower screening rates compared to African American patients and white patients. For our Native American patients and black patients, we see that there's the highest incidence of colorectal cancer. And then finally, in black patients, we see not only more advanced stages of disease at the time of diagnosis, but they have the highest mortality among all these groups I just mentioned. Interestingly, when we look at COVID-19 and the pandemic uh, as it relates to the United States, we see very similar disparities. We see that Hispanic patients, Native American patients, and black patients have higher transmission rates and higher mortality rates, with black patients actually suffering the highest mortality rates of all. This connection was clearly not lost on us and was really the impetus for writing this perspective piece, not only to outline the different ways that colorectal cancer has been impacted by COVID-19, but also to provide different solutions. In mid-March, when COVID-19 was declared a pandemic, the US Surgeon General um, had declared that elective procedures be halted. Colorectal cancer screening as it relates to colonoscopy fell into that category. Additionally, patients with positive fit tests also fell into that category. So we see that colorectal cancer screening and awareness unfortunately fell to the wayside as we shifted our efforts and shifted our resources where they were needed. Everyone's goal, of course, was to decrease transmission rates, contain the virus, and try to uh, minimize mortality. Of course, we also ought to conserve PPE. So all of those things, keeping it in mind, you know, colorectal cancer uh, inevitably suffered. Federally funded initiatives to address these disparities, to target patients who are vulnerable, community participatory research, uh, community efforts and advocacy efforts um, either were postponed or canceled. And we address different ways that we can, um, you know, we can mitigate this loss. There have been great gains to address healthcare disparities as it relates to colorectal cancer. And we fear that those gains might be lost if we don't address um, you know, the ways in which screening and awareness have been impacted. Thankfully, there are creative solutions to these problems, but we need to recognize that regardless of where um, you know, an individual provider is in the pandemic in terms of transmission rates, this is eventually going to be a problem. Depending on when you're reopening, um, endoscopy centers, when you're seeing patients in the office again, will determine where you are in the solutions process. But I invite everybody to think about these things way ahead of time because colorectal cancer screening clearly um, is important because colorectal cancer is not going anywhere. We've seen in, uh, in data that uh, is taken from electronic health records that screening for colorectal cancer, screening for breast cancer, screening for cervical cancer has declined dramatically since, the, since uh, COVID-19 was declared a pandemic. In the US, we see that colorectal cancer, according to this data, had dropped greater than 80%. Granted, this research was not, uh, or the data was not divided among race or ethnicity, but we can only imagine that our patients who were already vulnerable before COVID-19 will suffer the greatest. So we need to pay particular attention to these patients. So I invite you to not only look through the different problems that we've outlined, um, but also to look at the creative solutions, because I do think that they are widely applicable. And I think that, like I said before, eventually everyone will fall into this category. I think that uh, you know, knowing that uh, these patients are both suffering from higher rates of colorectal cancer incidence and death, and also suffering from higher rates of COVID transmission and death, um, you know, we really need to take care of this particular population. So thank you so much for listening, and I invite you to share the article widely um, and think about a new way forward for colorectal cancer screening and awareness. Thank you.